This ancient battery could rewrite history in 1938. A German archaeologist named Wilhelm Kig was digging near Baghdad when he stumbled upon something that shouldn't tea have existed. It wasn't a sword or a statue but a small clay jar. Inside was a copper cylinder, sealed with asphalt, and within that, an iron rod. It looked ordinary, but what happened next shook historians. When reconstructed, the jar produced a measurable electric charge. This became known as the Baghdad Battery, and it's at the center of one of archaeology's greatest debates. The artifact dates back over 2,000 years, possibly to the Parthian Empire long before electricity was officially discovered. So how could an ancient civilization have built a battery? Some scientists believe it was used for electroplating, a process that coats metals with gold or silver. Others think it might have had religious or medical purposes, like delivering small shocks during rituals. Yet, no clear record of such technology exists from that era. Skeptics argue it's just a coincidence, maybe a storage jar, or a simple container misinterpreted by modern minds hungry for mystery. But if the Baghdad battery was truly functional, it could mean ancient people understood electrical principles thousands of years before. Benjamin Franklin ever flew his kite? Was this a lost invention, a glimpse into forgotten science, or just a lucky accident in clay and metal? The truth remains buried. But one thing is clear. This tiny jar from ancient Mesopotamia still holds enough mystery to electrify the imagination of the modern world.